blind. <laughs> Why are you blind? I don't have a don't have touch sight on. I'm in a very oh. dark room. Uh, one minute per level though. So do we want to do buff stuff? Depends on buffs. Oh, you, you, you listen to buffs. some buffs. Uh, long lasting buffs, certainly. Are you hitting on this? Crown of Smiting? What's that do? Uh, I can designate an alignment, and I can do... I do an extra plus two points of damage per attack, or I can discharge it after I confirm the hit to do plus eight. It's nothing crazy, Oh, you're but blind? Let me fix that. <laughs> I literally can't see. Nothing crazy, but extra damage is extra damage. Well, uh, you said you don't have touch sight on, so yeah, I turned your touch sight off. To, like, tab back and everything's black. <laughs> Um, I don't see any, uh, dark visions in there. Uh, I have goggles of dark vision, and so does Elric. Does our friendly other people need dark vision? Uh, I need dark if vision, you, yes. If you prepared it, yeah. I'm a sorcerer, it's like I have it, and... Ah, that's right. I start min max and how much power points I'm using. I'll do give uh, Aaron. Can you afford one dark vision? I'll give one dark vision. I don't want to waste all my stuff. Um, I have an extra fourth level. I can just do mass. Uh, I have mass resist fire and mass improved resistance for everyone. Okay. Then. Save until you start. Remember that, and then resist fire. Mage armor is plus four. Correct. Let me just update my list of spells here. As GM says, I thought you had everything ready. I can see again. My thanks. Oh, someone cast it on you already? Okay. No, didn't you say you were casting mass? I was. I, I heard the chat from World 20, and then I heard him say that, so I just assumed. All right. I always have one was, last. I guess it. I spend a power point, so I don't need to eat. So, 89 out of 90. <clears throat> I think it's funny that you bought goggles of uh, dark vision when you have someone in the party who <laughs> has mass. Dark yeah, vision. I, was, I didn't realize he had mass, and they're not that expensive. Yeah, I had casted it last time just because. I think it was for, also for Bright, wasn't it? Yeah. The goggles. I had touch light, but touch light is like again. I'm trying to minimize my PowerPoint cost, which means lots of first level, That's but right. not so much second level. So. That should be right. Oh wait, uh, I, I need to update cheap? my shillelagh. You know what? Nah. Steal, if you could steal our thoughts, make us undetectable by detect magic. I don't know many people are using that, so it's kind so of you're casting mass thing. shield, so I don't have to cast my normal shield. I mean, oh, were you casting mass shield? No, I was casting normal shield. Oh, uh, I mean, you can have both if you want. Kind of I'm not gonna stop you. I'm not gonna. If they dispel mine, then you'll still have yours. Yeah, eh, if they just spell mine, then I, I don't think I mind spending a standard action to get it back. It's a first level oh, spell. Share pain one hour yeah. per level? Yes, I will share pain with my crystal. I don't share pain with me. Take my pain. Sorry, can, no can do. Selfish. Uh -huh. yeah. I got 88, 87, 86. If you want to ask, you know, if you want to ask Corey in character, we might get a different response, but. Halo no siree. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm just giving shit. That share, I need, I need the share pain, please. Have you seen the way I play? It's all about maximizing pain. 
Did you cast all those spells? Oh, it's like, well, you prepared. I was like, you just these, cast no, these are all, these are all plus one. <laughs> these are, no, these are all the spells I'm casting once we enter the main room. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, no, these are, these are all my spells. That's a lot of prep. This is what we meant when I blow my load <laughs> in the beginning of every day. Mass shield, mass, you know. Have to remind me on a few of these. I have, um, we have both resistance to fire and cold. Correct. I got um I got intellect force at Tower Fortress this level, so that'll come. Also, you have a plus four okay. resistance bonus to saving throws, depending on. Yeah. So whatever the difference between that and whatever cloak you might have is. Wish I could log that in a temporary slot. Whoa, temporary modifier. There it is. Oh, I didn't write in the dark vision was extended, but it is extend mass dark vision. That's why it's twenty four hours. Sorry about that. Did I ever get that cloak of resistance? I said I did, so there it is. Um, cloak of resistance is probably just plus one then. Okay. Well, now you have plus three more on top of that. Okay. Until a, a horrible dispel magic thing happens. Yeah. My saves the are DM, better than they ever have been. The DM smites us for our for our power gaming ways. No, that's when you hit hit you with a ray of anti magic. That was still fun, I'm not gonna lie. That was <laughs> I still love that moment. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing um, a fact totem and it's really hard not to play a fact totem for everything now. Sean, I really forgot cool. to ask, paladins get feats at every fourth level, right? Yep. Yeah. It's a useful multi class. It's a useful base class. Versatility what up the ass. Fact totem. Yeah, back totem. I will say, kind of poorly designed in some ways. It seems they, they got whoever wrote fact totem knew the meta, and they were like, these are things you need to do to have to succeed. So you just have these, and very, like, they don't follow the rules of how characters generally get things. So they get like spell or uh, uh, spell penetration, but as a characteristic of an inspiration point, which isn't like the worst of it. The worst is like. They add their intelligence to their strength checks, their all of their skill checks. Well, skill checks make sense, what they're supposed to do. Their saves, their attack, their damage, um, and like a slew of other things. As a AC, side note, can't forget that. the bark skin at was upgraded this level, so it's actually 5 nat on it. I didn't update that. John, you allow paladins take, to take the extra domain feat as well, right? Yep, it only gives you access to the the spells. It doesn't give you anything more. No, it doesn't give you the special or anything. You get the special ability, and you get to add the the spells to your uh, domain list, but you don't get an extra casting. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just a little thinking of taking it because the uh, charm domain hat doesn't really have any money, good decent spells to use until higher up. That's a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> So are we at the, the very beginning of this dungeon, or are we just on moving up to the upstairs? You are on the stairs that come down to the first level of this dungeon. Yeah, this is the first room that we encountered. We did not cause those bodies. That we're aware of. Actually, there's a, you have an improved power attack, right? What does it do for if you're one-handing a weapon? Double, or 1.5? Yeah, 1.5. Okay. Do I know what happened here? Wait, well, for power attack is double. Uh, I'm one handed. Oh, okay. If I recall, this side was drowned. We went north, aren't we? No, we went this way. This Corey just teleported down. I don't. Maybe he didn't run into this room. We didn't finish the undead, did we? No, you did not finish that corner. Okay, I think we have to go this way. Are there any like? Women and children in this corpse pile, or is it soldiers? It appears to be all uh, adults. Come on, game. I'm pretty sure it's this way. My cane hits the ground. 
sorry, where did our sorcerer go? You'll catch up. He's a professional. We sprint through the halls. <laughs> I am. I'm pretty sure it's south, wasn't it? You just hear in the distance. <laughs> Are you blind still? Didn't we cast dark vision on you? Nah, I see. I can see. Are you sure? I mean, I'm, I'm a hobbly, I'm not even a hobbly old man. That, that goes to that guy in the party. I can't even claim that. Am I wrong? Wait, do you even, I mean, this I is kind of a weird way. thing, but nobody, like, counts their age when they were dead. They're like, I'm not this old. I was just dead. wouldn't be like 1200 years old you would just be like 1200 years dead and then 46 years old i mean i'm gonna be honest i don't think many people have come across that same problem that you have yeah i don't think it's uh significant significant enough on a cultural level to make that determination i know captain america always refers to himself as being over 100 years old hmm. okay i think this is where we, we went, went north. East. No, we went, went north. north. We went north? Yeah, I'm where we are, where we were. Yeah, but Follow you've gone around a corner, and you've all gone in different directions. You guys oh. went, so we went south, and then you and took east. off. Yeah, we saw you guys, I saw you just go west. Yeah. Go west oh, is where okay. we went. Hey! Is this, what is this? Can anybody else see this green little circle when I click on the map? Yep. Yes. Okay. That's like Sounds noise, cool. right? Where'd uh, where'd our sorcerer go? I went the way that we teleported from. Okay. We went north Wait. up here. This is where we fought, right? This is where I died. I guess that makes sense. You would remember that. <laughs> this room? Uh, be careful. Sorrel might have left something. What was that? Keep in mind that we'll need to um, probably aim for what's on him rather than himself. Uh, a phylac uh, a phylactery, something like that. This door is closed. I'm not hearing a no. Uh, is this is the room right here? What we this have. We haven't gone anywhere else in this room. This is the room. This is the room we're in that I died. We fought Should that I... wisp up in the corner. Should I open this door? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's lead with the perception. Uh, the perception says. It's taking forever to come up. Can we make a stealth check? You can make a stealth check if you want. Start creeping around. I'm not very good at stealth. I have a cane that taps wherever I go. Uh, hey, but you know what? It's not as bad as I thought it was. Hmm. You do oh, not yeah. hear anything beyond the door. Okay, I'll open it. Yes. One last perception. I got my perception mod wrong last time. Just to make no, sure I don't okay. get so. <coughs> ruined here. So we'll step forward. Alright. So perception check 26. Doubt it beats any 27 for any. You guys don't have a light source, do you? We have dark vision. We, we all have, have dark light. vision. I know. Not, touch you do not have a light source. Correct. No, I do have seen visibility up if that helps. Oh, then. well, when you get into range to see something, that will help you. But in the meantime... I see invisible things. I see everything within 60 feet. Yeah, the problem is that doesn't help you see incorporeal things. Things you can't touch. See, invisibility specifically says you can. I see. understand that, Jesse, but you're oh, not in the room. I explained to Care, Car, Corey. 
Corre. You know, I'm I might as well spell it like C O R E. Actually, no, it's part of it's part of the character. <laughs> That's the nuance of having a name so old that people will never read it and pronounce it correctly. Okay. Do we see it now? Uh, you do not see it. I just put it on the map. You uh, ignore uh, invisibility, uh, darkness, uh, and concealment. Uh, though you must have a line of effect of the creature or an object to discern. Yep. It is not concealed. Okay. I believe Adam. shadows are basically invisible in the in darkness. In uh, bright light, I think you um, you can see them. Uh, do you want his action to go up first or mine? mine yeah, action. he's his action is going to be his surprise attack. So he's going to move up and touch. Um, Aaron, well, he's black-footed. Can I just ask if Death Ward affects this at all? Uh, I think so. It stops all draining effects, I thought. I might. Um, hang on. Death spells, magical death, energy drain, and negative energy. Yeah, I think it's strength drain. Affectability drain? Uh, no, it just says an energy drain. And in negative energy effect. Shadows are ability damage, correct? Yeah, shadows do strength damage. Yep, just thought I'd ask. Yeah, just let me check and see if there's anything specific on the shadows thingy. I'm guessing that it should be some kind of negative energy thing, but um, unless it specifically says it is. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, it says right in it, this is the negative energy effect. Oh, I uh, I was looking for a, another uh, game, right? And you'll never guess who the DM was. They, their name was simply Blue Mage on um on the party fires. Chandra, Chandra's uh player is DMing another game. Yeah, she's a full time professional DM. The Tuesday is the only day of the week she doesn't run a game. Oh, wow. Surprisingly small world. So I uh. Did you join the game? I did. We'll see how it goes. It's uh, it starts Thursday. Oh, it hasn't started yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're immune to the effect, then it doesn't really matter. Cool. Well, considering I probably don't feel, see it, or notice it, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, yeah. No, that's only 12 minutes. That's not very good. I mean, yeah. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. No, that's fair. Not that big of... The other big of these. Yes. If you use 5... Okay, so 5 times 12 is 60. Well, just hang on. Skill. Yeah, we're uh, uh, an initiative at this point, one way or another. Any, uh, I wasn't sure if anything's happening. Well, I'm assuming it's going to keep attacking us. It, oh, if it's attacking me, I thought it would just like, attract these things like flies and just like get to the boss with like, seven of these on me. Because I have the highest hit point, right? Isn't it attracted to me? Oh. I was just looking up what the other attacks are. Uh, I don't know if you've, if you've seen Rise of the Shield Hero, but he has such a high defense that like the low-level mobs just... Um, attack him, but he doesn't have the attack power to kill them. So he just walks around being swarmed by those low-level monsters. It's a great. That's a great anime. Until the second season came out. Yeah, I've only read it. I, I read the light novel. Yeah, I don't understand the. Di Maybe it's just the way it works, but um, the race one does not say. It just says it's an incorporeal touch, hmm. and it does con drain. 
two plus one thousand oh. plus five plus four. Plus four. Which seems weird because the shadow specifically says that it is a um uh a negative energy effect. And you would think um, that conjuring would be yeah. And I would I would think basically any incorporeal touch attack by an undead is is probably some sort of negative energy effect. But that's just me. Unless it does like fire damage or something. Well the thing is the wraith damage is a physical attack. And then oh. you take con damage in addition to that. Whereas the shadow's only attack is the strength drain. It doesn't have any ability to cause damage. Hmm. Alright, do we roll initiative or what? You can roll initiative if it uh, makes you happy. I just want to make sure I've got my my rules right before I move forward. Let me interrupt again. Not that I can see it either. Two more skill points to put on. No, put them into intuition. I don't know what that does yet, but it looks cool. You might want to put it in uh, insight. Remember, it's a cross class skill. Cross class skills only cost one point, though, correct? Just, yeah, there's no double cost. It just means there's a limit to how many you can have in it. I'm just... Is it cross class for me? It's cross class for everyone. Everyone. Intuition. Okay. Is it cross class for factotums, the class that gets all class all skills as class skills? Yes. Aww. Curses. But their whole thing is they get all skills as class skills. And now it's a partial thing. It's a... Tragic. All but I think the most tragic thing is I highly doubt I would allow that class in my game. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Uh, it I sounds didn't retarded. Earlier why it's kind of badly designed or poorly designed. I mean the biggest yes. It just says that it does drain. doesn't say anything about it being a negative effect. That is so weird. Yeah. But I mean, I'll take it against the shadows. I'm not complaining. No, like I said, the shadow specifically says that it uh, yeah, is I mean, a negative energy. Yeah, I mean, for me ain't bad. Like, I'll take that every day. Like, 50% reduction, no strength damage. I'm, I'm still worth full on this spell. I guess it might be like a vampiric rather than a death effect. Because I think it heals for the wraith, right? Yes, it heals the wraith. Yeah, maybe it's like a, I don't know, probably like a... Have I seen what the ra what the shadows do when they touch you? Is it just damage or do they apply an effect? It's just strength damage. Mm, player fortitude save. Yeah, Fortitude save pretty good. Got my homie with the uh, Rusavalier, the Hero Crystal. He's very good. He, like his, he just gives me a plus two to Fortitude because of his personality. Because that's the that's the kind of dude he is. Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to be in the spotlight, but he needs to blind. Oh, apparently I didn't roll for the shadow. I should get improved initiative. There's also a greater improved initiative, which is another plus four. Superior, but yeah. It's super important in this campaign. Yes. Absolutely. But with the 2e rules and whatnot. Doesn't mean initiative is always important in every game, but in terms of what you can afford to lose. It's super important when you're a spellcaster. Okay, Ian Wick, you're up first. Oh, uh, so I don't know anything is up, right? So. Um, at this point, you can roll a perception check because the shadow has attacked. Perception and nine. A twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah, I was just looking at the stats. Uh, 
Yeah, you can see him. Um, I'll I'll call out a warning. Just uh, uh, intangible, and uh, then I'll I'll uh, fire a magic missile at it, so people can presumably tell where it is by where the magic missiles go. I just have to clarify. You shout out intangible. I mean, it's an intangible enemy. Like, depends no, on no, how much no. I can it, actually it, it, say. It makes sense. It makes sense. It was just really funny. <laughs> I just hear intangible behind. Uh, magic missile for, for 18, and that's my turn. Is it. I assume it doesn't have any, like, resistances. Probably has a resistance on. No, not oh, to, to magic uh, missile. Yeah, to magic missile. I'm hasted, that's right. Right? Am I hasted? Uh, I didn't hasted. cast haste. Okay, and haste only lasts one per round. From last game. Yeah, it's yeah, just from last time. Haste slightly lasts one round per level. You're probably not hasted. Okay, Aaron, you're up. Um, I guess I see it. And I guess I'm going to go, oh. And I guess I'll attack. Everything in the last session occurred within 60 seconds. Um, no, I'm just going to attack again. Okay, I'm going to fail both times, and I guess I'm just going to five foot. As in we only had ten rounds of combat? Oh yeah, I, I assume he means from the, so the Saris. What's, what's that guy's name is? I, I can't remember it. Forgetting it. Cyril? Cyril? Yeah. Yeah, that was in last combat. Last combat was just you guys finishing off the mages. It took you the whole session to just. Oh play. yeah, that guy kept running around and basically emptied his whole spell list on us because of teleport boot shenanigans. There was a lot of shenanigans in that one. And wall of force, yeah, wall of force is great. Yeah, the wall of force was awesome. I'll have to make use of that in the future. Very good tactic. Okay, uh, then we're on to Corey. That's my acrobatics. Can I afford the tumbles? Tumbles is, is just on acrobatics. Yep. Uh, I never added the skill, so I'm going to assume I don't. Not very good at that one. Okay. So I'll just hit him with a DC 19 reflex saving throw. Off the top of my head, is he uh, is he resistant to electricity damage? Um, technically, he does. yeah, he dodges that. He's resistant in that he takes half damage from all um, non-force effects. Ah, unfortunate for me. So just fire damage. Blast one point. That's damage. Two additional points for HP. So three D six. Half that. Three D six. Plus one. So thirteen total have two six. Which means he's at eighty two. Uh I cast defensively and I burn my sonic concentrate or my sonic meditation, whatever it's called, to make that check. <coughs> And that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, then we're on to the Dread Wraiths. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Are they incorporeal? They are also incorporeal. I was thinking about taking him out of initiative, but... Taking who out of initiative? Off with time hop. Oh, okay. It's kind of my utility, currently. Okay, well, he will move up and attempt to touch you. Big dread race. 
Yeah, I thought... Touch AC of 20? Touch AC... I hate that that's misses? a question. <laughs> I hate that that's a question. The wizard, touch AC 20, you're hit... No. No, I'm not. And I assume that means 17 doesn't hit either. I'm sorry. I'm going to use anticipa or Anticipatory Strike, which is my 5th level spell, to take an immediate action uh, whenever so that I can use my next turn. Basically, I take my next turn, which would be around from now, at this moment. Okay. Uh, with that, do, do immediate actions, I've always been curious, um, apply... Uh, the second that you say it happens, so would it happen before someone else has made, if they're like, I make the standard action to attack you, would an immediate action say, I do this before you attack me? Um, if you're aware of it, yes. Okay. So that's the prize negative. Um, then I will use energy wall. Um, fire plus one. And there is no, so yeah, it's just five power points for 2d6 damage an opaque sheet of 20 foot long per level which is nine caster 10 no, i'm yeah nine caster levels nine times two is 18 180 20 feet the fuck did i just say 180 feet uh long where do i where are my measurement thing draw shape i uh, assume you can't put it through a wall I don't think so. Well, I can set the radius. Yeah, but it still can't go through the wall. I imagine not. Well, we'll say no, and if uh, something changes, I get back to you. Um, but reflex halves 2d6, as long as they stay within it. I'm going to make it about right here. Take that space. It's a lot of feet to work with, but you know what? I'll I'll put it as far as I can see. So about, can you see what I've just drawn? Not yet, because you haven't drawn it. Oh, right, there you go. Does that work? Yep. Wolverine. You're making it a square. Uh, how do I make it? Oh, there we go. Use the line tool instead of the shape tool. Where did that go? Control Z didn't work. Um, how do I remove this now? Oh, like that. So. What are you trying to do? I am trying to encompass the square area that I had set. Can I? That? Yeah, which is what I had. Why are you drawing circles if you want a line? I thought you were, you mentioned, like, you wanted a square, and I was like, yeah. Well, oh, there's a radius. draw yes, so shape, draw circle, freehand, and polygon, or line. The polygon line is what you want to use. Okay. I don't care this which is... one you use. You just drawn like six different shapes, and they're all wrong. I think you I... deleted your dread wraith by accident. Did I? Oh, I deleted it. your dread wraith. I'm sorry. Yeah. I um. It. So you I... Want... It is impossible, because you can't center it, or, like, I can't move the shape when I place it. Yeah, click you can just click on it. Again, I, believe. I can't. Click on the it line doesn't... itself. You have to click on the line. Oh, I have to click on the line in very specific spots. I see. Yeah. Um, so if, it, if any part of the square is affected, are they taking damage? So, yeah, for instance, if, I, if Aaron is, like, on the very end right here, is he still taking Yep, it I've goes got, through his square, it affects I've it. I've resist fire 30. See, I like that. Oh, then, hey. We're, hey, you know what? We're all resist fire 30. I'm just going to center, yeah. So, 2d6, fire damage. Okay, what is it? Because you've uh, got a... Energy, energy wall. Okay, same. so does it do anything if it's not touching them? No. So you're not touching anything? Yeah, the only one you're touching is... It's a radius of fire. Yes, but it, you said it's a wall. It radiates energy, energy, energy like a wall of, wall of fire. fire. Yeah, it's, it's like wall of fire, except you can... Uh, an opaque sheet of energy up to 20 feet long, 
or a ring of energy with a radius of up to five feet per two levels. Okay. It's a wall, but it can be a ring as well. And how much damage does it do? Uh, 2d6 fire damage plus each. Uh, so 2d6 plus 2. So 8 points of damage. 'm sorry, but it would be cool if I didn't say that that you fumbled with that circle tool for so long to do eight points of damage I know I I've never uh... to, I just had to make sure we were all aware of this new spells Actually, no, spell it's fine no it's all right I'm just I just need to make fun of you well I hate you so they can make a reflex save to have it by the way Really? <laughs> yeah. But so is this not like the wall of fire? Like if you put it on them, don't they take automatic damage? Upon manifesting this, uh, you create a mobile sheet. One side of the wall selected by you sends forth waves of energy dealing 2d6 points of damage. Uh, but those beyond 10, wait, of those within 10 feet but beyond 20 feet. In addition, anyone passing through takes 2d6 points. And it just says saving throw reflex app on the saving throw section, but it doesn't say specific, okay. so I'm assuming everybody gets a... Takes 2d6 points, plus one per point, point per manifestor level. Um, yeah, you really gotta work on your reading correct. skills. Correct. Plus one no, per die, no, so... it's 2d6 if it's within there. If it's passing through the wall, then it does 2d6 plus one point per manifestor. He's going full yeah. Jesse. Right. So people stuck on the wall itself, but that's nobody. Yeah, Except people stuck the on the wall way down there. Six plus caster. Which I guess is me. Okay. Yeah. But and also, you? I don't think it's going to do more than 30 damage. Yeah. Which is what we have, right? And fire resistance plates. Mm -hmm. So. 2d6 plus 2 plus, a l plus 9. 11. Yeah, 11 so plus 6 plus is 8. No. No, it's not. It's 17. 17 points of damage. Just to the shadow CR9 down there. Which he can make a reflex save to have. He makes a save. Okay. So, I now start subtracting. Uh, half of 17 is 8. Yeah. 6. So all these dudes. Uh, do they make. I think they make their. Or, or, it's just within 10 feet. So I think the Dread Wraiths and the Shadow CR9 also make re, need to make reflex saving throws. I don't think they get a reflex saving throw against the initial. I think it's only when you go through the wall. Okay. So, six plus. Do they have resist? They have like half damage to. Um, yeah, they forced. have half damage to all attacks that aren't forced. Okay, so this guy gets four health back. All right, you can move on from my turn now while I do math. Finish this for. He does go to him. So it's Elfric's turn? No, it's the Shadow's turn. Oh. I thought they yeah. already. I, used, I took my turn next round just now. Yeah. Okay, well, the bottom Shadow isn't in the Wall of Fire, so he can just leave. Unless he just wants to be tickled for a while. So he'll come out there and he will try and touch Elric.
Wait, does Elbrick only have 54 HP? What? Yeah, he's a cohort. He's just two levels behind us. Uh. Okay. Four, not four health. <laughs> I did 142 damage to the Frederick. <laughs> uh, 20 a hit on Elbrick. Yep. He can roll his fortitude save. Okay, so he takes three points of strength damage. Okay. And then the shadow south of uh, Corey will attack him. Uh, that is... 25 touch. Yeah. Roll your fortitude save. Fortitude. Are they intelligent? Um, relatively. He's got a six intelligence. I was just wondering if they would be forced to attack me or not. Why would they be forced to attack you? Uh, I thought you said they were attracted to the one with the most hit points, so I was just wondering if... Well, he already 16. attacked you, and he couldn't even hurt you. A meager 16. Uh, I'll lock that up to 22. Okay, so you take three points of strength damage. And he provokes as he goes into the wall. Got it. Um, I can't make a... I'm not going to try. Since I can't see him that well, can I, I still make Aaron, or no? Yeah, you can see him at this point. Oh. So, negative three temp. He just has a really good hide chance in the dark. Ah, uh, okay. But I he totally takes a minus 20 once he attacks. I Fair. total weight negative on that gun. Are you attacking him, Corey? Nope. Don't have oh. a, a useful melee attack. Nope, that's fine. I just wanted to check before I moved through the wall and uh, flanked uh, Albert. Is there a spell that gives you ghost touch? So Elric has a shield spell on him, right? Because of mass shield? Yeah, uh, yeah, but his touch is only 12, plus the shield, which is 16. And then the last one will pop up beside Fear, and... Uh, yeah, he'll touch Fear, sure. Assume 19 is not a hit on you? Nope. And I think that's all of the shadows. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so then we're on to Elric. Um, he is going to use his divine shield feet, so he does armor goes up. what it is now, and then he will cast Bless Weapon and do a swing on this shadow. Power attacking for five. Hitting. She does full damage. Are they immune to electricity at all? No, they take half. Oh, he does full damage because he's got a blessed weapon. Yes. I was going to say they take half damage from the energy, but on a blessed weapon they wouldn't. That is a fr Okay. And then we're into fear. I. So I'm going to five foot back. Actually, I don't even think my uh, cone of cold will hit through. Right, it would get cut on the wall here, so it wouldn't hit these guys. Actually, it would. It I would hit one of them. The other one has cover from it. So let's say I moved here. Probably hits both of them from here, 
and these two three shadows. Yeah, you can get all three of them there. Okay, so I'll hit all five with a positive energy, and I and I'm just gonna yeah. I've reread the document. I thought it said full damage, but it's half, so we'll just do that. So positive energy cone of cold. So we heal half of this amount and then have it again if it's temporary hit points. Yes. Okay. So you would get, well, you should be getting half of this amount of damage because you should only be rolling half the damage. But he's not. I, I just always find it easier to roll for all. I'll nope, that's sac fine. I'll sacrifice five of the 30 to, or he'll sacrifice 30 of it to get rid of all the strength drain and the raids can all roll their uh, reef. It's Will. Oh, yes. Uh, how many? How much strength drain did he have? He had three. three. So that's, it's two points of Oh, it's two points of strength damage per five point hit oh, points. Oh, I thought it was I thought it was uh, five per or five, So it only takes ten hit points. Okay, then he'll just take the Yeah, last. the shadows on Oh, sorry, this is a greater stat shadow. Greater shadow does do drain, not, oh. not damage. Oh, okay. Well never mind then. I was just checking that. I was like, is it or that's, is uh, it? still fifteen points, not thirty, I think, if it's five per one. Uh, regardless, like the temp HP really isn't an issue for me. I make a will save, so I don't have to make a reflex save. Okay, so they are plus 11. I have made my third fire healing save to not flinch. You go, girl. 24 save? Uh, no. Oh, really? 25 to save. I cast Invocation 8 to 18th level. Sorry, what was that? I cast evocation at the 18th level. I took the uh, uh, took the fiery uh, fiery burst feet. That adds one to all my fire spell. Oh, the reserve feats. The reserve feats, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, well then he will luck his save up by one if that's going to make a difference. That was the save for the shadows. Yes, the shadows. Okay, uh, the. The big guys can also make one because I think I can. Yep, make them. I just they have a different save modifier, so I was rolling them separately. Um, they are wow plus fifteen. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. But they rolled the two. Okay, Look so the shadows the make the save. The wraiths fail the save. You doing anything else? Nope, that's good. You know, I've never actually cast an area of effect spell. Isn't uh, isn't energy push a line? Energy, uh, I guess it technically is. But in the circumstance of like, I fire in this direction, and then it does that. Have some deal with it. That's still an area of effect. You know what? Fine. Oh, are you right. rolling? On this isn't a special occasion, okay? It's not about me. We yes, dear. After every round. Yes, Heroes now, uh, I'm going to shoot. Oop, copy and paste this. My bad. Uh, technically, I don't go this round, but uh, there will be a point where I can use my immediate action again. And that is, what would I prepare to do right now? Sorry, when can you use your immediate action again? When Usually, it's when initiative comes back to my turn. Oh, uh, okay. But, yeah, technically, I won't go this turn unless at 14 initiative, I decide to cast another immediate action. Which is okay. the turn anyway. Yeah. Okay, Fury, you're up first. Okay. Last to first. Um, we're going to do... You said force spells weren't technically part of the elemental spells, right? For descriptors? 
because I'm all my all my fires are all my evocation spells with energy descriptors turned to fire, but I don't know if force is considered part of that. Um, that is a good question. I don't think force is an energy descriptor. Okay. Uh, then... For energy substitution, I don't believe it is. Okay, perfect. So, because that's what my spells are essentially, and all my spells essentially are under. So, I will change. Also, this... uh, you just blasted the ring of fire with cold, so it's basically gone. I blasted it with fire. I'll oh yeah, the cold, okay. cold turned into fire. All of us, yeah. All my spells are fire. <laughs> So I will do a chain missile on that one, and then I will do one chain missile that one, the rest of that one. So okay. nine missiles to him, one missile to him, eight missiles to him. That's a lot of one. So the first one will go to this guy. I don't think that'll kill him. No, it'll leave him with one hit point. Yes, I just did that math. Don't judge me. And then we'll just uh, do a fire strike on, or not fire strike, a fire bolt on that one. Or positive energy fire. No, regular fire. Fire bolt will kill him regardless. What's its freaking attack? Way higher than that. Try and try another one. There we go. Dead shadow. And I finish my turn. Okay. Then we're on to Aaron. I'll call out, preparing haste, or something along those lines. I will delay after you. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll move over here. Uh, I will provoke, but um, I have mobility, so I don't think they're going to hit me. Yeah, you're provoking twice, though. Yeah. You could five foot here and then five foot again. I can't yeah. five foot into people. Oh, I thought with mobility you could do that. Okay. No, he ha you can't go through difficult terrain with okay. a five foot. Okay, so they will attack you. Twenty-two and a twenty-six. Both miss. Really? What's your armor class? Uh, my armor class is 23 plus 4 for mobility, 27. Okay. Um, I will cast haste and hit everyone. I don't think it's possible to hit everyone. Uh, I can see everyone. Oh, right, the third it has nothing day. to do with your ability to see. I think it's the close, the farthest two have to be 30 feet. Oh yeah, okay, so I can still hit everyone. Okay. Yeah, I'll haste everyone. Um, and then I will... Sonic snap these two raids, because why not? They take two damage. Okay. That's my turn. Are you doing anything, Corey? Uh, nope. Nothing, because I can't. It would only be an immediate action. So. I think Arundi is coming out of delay. Uh, I can go after Corey. Well, he's not doing anything. Yeah. Can't take my turn this turn unless I use immediate action, so nope. Fair enough. Uh, if you don't mind if I go after the, the delay, can I attack this other one? Yep. Thank you. It's three attacks now and a full attack? It takes one extra. One and one extra, yep. Yep, and your full attack bonus. And you get a plus one to attack for whatever that matters with your crazy high attack bonuses. I'm sure that's not enough to kill it, so that is my turn. Also, pretty close. 
save to avoid being deaf, but I don't think that really counts for corporal attack. No. I'll bat it down to like a third or what it was. I'll take that. Okay, well, they will both touch you then. That's fair. Ace, touch AC is 21. Bang. Hmm. I thought I hit the double attack. Okay, roll your fortitude save. Uh, a pass negates the con, or they, I still take something? You take half. Mm, let's use my luck to make that a miss. Okay. Thank you. Um, then we're on to Elric. Um, he will just uh, use uh, Divine Might and attack that one, power attacking for five. Uh, turn order is weird. They take 2d6 points on their turn. Yep. So Sorry, he will also. 13 half. He will also cast Divine Favor. 13 half is six. Why do they take plus two? Uh, it's fire. Plus so all <laughs> all elemental psionic spells uh have different effects depending on what element you use. Fire oh. does plus one damage per damage die. Oh, okay. Um, and then that he can actually attack again because he is eighth level. Uh, but he misses horribly. He is hasted too. Okay, then he'll attack at the <laughs> Oh, crit, but doesn't confirm, but this one is dead. That is it. Okay, then the shadow will attack him. Since he is particularly easy to kill. <laughs> 